Hey, what's up? Um, if you're subscribed to me on Twitter, then you saw. Sorry, I was looking at that picture. Then you saw my tweet. Um, let's see. Um, then you've seen my tweet on. About to make a new video for Angry Birds View. Check it out. New channel. Uh, check out channel for more. Up in about 20 to 30 minutes. Well, that was an hour two hours ago. And now I'm finally making it. And I put nine minutes ago. Sorry for the delay. I'm making it now. And someone. Um, I don't even know how to say. She Zuin Mix. I think. Right there. They uh, mentioned me. Saying that I should play a game called Pigeon Palooza, which is basically like the next Angry Birds, and it is launched in the Android and iTunes marketplace. Um, I did get it. I sadly deleted it, but I did get it. I played it. I just don't like copiers and copiers. I mean, by like an unpopular app or a new app trying to copy or a spinoff of a popular app, and that's basically what it was. So I did delete it, unfortunately, but let's finally do this review. So this is a review of the regular Angry Birds. Angry Birds by Rovio. Um, basically, it's just a regular old Angry Birds, but this is one of the easiest Angry Birds. There are three different Angry Birds that I know of. There's Angry Birds Rio, regular Angry Birds, and Angry Birds Seasons. They all have a different difficulty of diff. Yeah, they all have a different difficulty. Um, Angry Birds Rio is the easiest. This is medium. And Seasons is the hardest. Um, so basically, they give you a lot of different levels you can do. Um, and then they give you the option to either send, sign up for the newsletter for Angry Birds or get some merch, which is basically like t-shirts and stuff. So basically, in each little square... There are a bunch of different little squares. <laughs> and basically the point of the game is to sling your birds to crash into the pigs. Because the pigs took some of your eggs. And you thought that that was really stupid. I did too. I thought that was really rude. Like who? Why did the pigs need the eggs in the first place? But yeah. Basically you just fling your birds before you run out of birds into you into the pigs and you try and kill the pigs all the pigs um before you run out of birds the, obviously the point is that is the point but obviously the point is to make sure that you have birds left because if you have birds left you get 10,000 points for every bird you have left so that's pretty cool oh my god i have trouble with this one all the time yes finally got it Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Um, so basically, for how many points you get, you obviously get a certain amount of stars. It will tell you if you beat a new high score or you made a new high score on the bottom. Then they give you the option to go back to the menu to choose another, uh, to choose a different level. Restart the level or to just go to the next one. Basically, there are a bunch of different birds. There are birds like this, which is a yellow bird where you tap it and it will kind of... Um, speed up real quick so then like um let's just say that you're about to fall you can change that and you can take out a lot basically your store is up here the pause buttons up here um the restart play and menu buttons here you can turn on and off the sound from the main menu and you can go to the question mark so that's pretty cool um and if you're wondering what that little eye is, that's because there's a thing that you can buy called, um, it's something eagle. Uh, God, I can't even think of it. Um, it's something eagle. I can't think of it, but yeah. Basically, it's like you press that button, you pay 99 cents. Not every time you use it, but one time. Um, you pay 99 cents, and then you can, um, press that the mighty eagle there we go you press that and then it will totally just wipe out all of the birds in one swoop um you don't really need to do anything because it, it kind of just falls from the ground um it automatically has perfect um 
placing, I would say, is the correct word. Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, um, that's basically the whole point of the game. There are a bunch of different birds. There are blue birds where you tap it, it'll turn into more than one bird, which actually turns into three birds, so that's really helpful. That was in the beginning of, the vis of this video. There's the yellow birds, where, uh, as you can see, as you could see, they kind of like, if you tap, it'll fly, it'll like, go much faster. There are the regular red birds. There are the black birds. There are the I'm not sure if there's a white bird. I'm pretty sure there's a white bird. I'm not positive. Don't hate in the comments. And yeah, that's basically the whole point. It gets harder and harder throughout the game. So do not expect it to be as easy as this if you think this is easy. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned. I'm not just saying I'm not going to be doing a review on all of the Angry Birds that I have. All of them are the same and all I will be doing is just repeating myself in, in the next three videos. So I think that is a total waste of time and a total waste of life. So basically, what I'm going to be doing was this is the only Angry Birds I was going to be reviewing and I'm going to go straight I'm going to skip Angry Birds, Seasons, and Rio and go straight to the Infinity Blade. And I'll do the same thing with every other app that ha that I have a sequel to. Or not a sequel, but the same apps. So, as you can see, I'll only be doing Infinity Blade 1 because I'm Infinity Blade 2 and I'd be repeating the same thing. Um, only... Actually, no, except for Zombieville. Because Zombieville, both of those are two totally different things. Like... They're the same things, but, like, they're totally different. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next video on the review of Infinity Blade. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, um, and go on Twitter and follow me. Thanks. Bye. Subscribe, like, and favorite to stay tuned.